Hello, I am Jake. Um, this video is the result of the Edmanel by election at the last um last Saturday, um, of the fourth of July. Uh, this video is filmed on the eighth of July, and I. Don't know the final results yet, but I got the perinatal results on the Australian Electoral Commission side. Um, I just now just um talking about the results. Um. From the top, the Citizen Fitness and Farmers Party um, got 5.36% 5. 5. of the vote, um, not standing at the last year general election, got a string towards them of 5.36%. 5. 5. Um, the Science Party, same. Um, not contest the last year's election, the vote got 1.11%, got a increase by, of course, 1.11%. Hope and Marijuana Politician Party or HEMP, um, not standing at the last year's federal election, the vote is 2.2%, got a swing of 2.2 to 2.27%. Um, independent James Hallgate, um, 0.66%. Um, I think he's then at the last year's general election in the city of Edmano. He got 0.66%. Got a string against him of 1.24%. Taya Hicks for the National Party, um, 6.40%. Got a small string against the National Party of 0.55%. Same with the Liberal Democratic Party not stand at the last year's federal election in the city of Edmonton. The vote um, got 0.69%, got a string of 0.69%. Um, stable, stable Australian party, um, not stand in the last year's federal election. The vote is 0.99%, got a string towards them of 0.99%. Chrissy McBain for the Labour Party. The Labour Party vote is 35.90%. Got a string of 3.27% against it. Um, what we should do independent, um, not stand in the last year's federal election. The is for um, Robertson Bion. Um, sorry for my language. Um, 0.54% got a string towards them of 0.54%. Um, can Porter Independent not stand at the last year's federal election? Um, her vote is 1.28%, got a string towards them of 1.2%. 8%. Coffee Griff from the Greens, um, her vote is 5.62%, got a string against the Greens of 3.16%. Um, Naya Stoner, Chris and Dan Crockett Party, um, 0.65%, got a string against the Chris and Dan Crockett Party of 0.52%. Joe Judson Porter, the Australian, Australian Federation Party, I mean, 
not stand in the last year's federal election in the city of Edmonton. The vote is 0.19% got a swing towards them of 0.19%. And the Labour Party for the COVID-19, um, the Labour Party got 38.35%, got a swing towards the Labour Party of 1.34%. On the two-party preferred vote, um, the Labour Party hold the seat of, of um, 50.38% to the Labour Party 49.62%. Um, this by-election is held during the COVID-19 outbreak and um, this election result is not not um not break the train of governance didn't win by elections of the opposition. However, the Labour Party got a small swing towards them on the party board. Most of it probably coming from the National Party. And some independence, but um, got a small swing towards the Labour Party on primary votes and on two party preferred. It's extremely rare, especially a third term Liberal National Coalition governor got a swing towards them in a by election. Have a set of, of that, um, the Labour Party still hold the seat. Um, for my thoughts of the by-election is um, probably the effect of COVID-19 is harder to campaign for the Labour Party, the Labour candidate Chris McBain in in the surrounding areas outside of her local area. Um, the, her local area is on one the bigger valley. Hard uh, to campaign with COVID 19 on one Premier and, and Yas and Kuma and Gina Bine and Truman and um, I think Tom Ramba in the electorate of Edmonton. And the Labour Party have a small advantage with the same candidate um, contesting the seat in the last year's federal election for the COVID Um the fact is that um, Labour hold the seat, probably the stuff up of the coalition with John Bayou contesting the seat and withdraw from the contest and Andrew Conscience contest um, stand for the seat and and not designed to not stand for the seat. Um, got some advantage from the Labour Party. Um, and also um, the Social Fitness and Farmers Party have a small advantage because they're giving preferences to Labour head of the Labour Party. Really interesting with the results. Got a string against the Labour Party and got a string towards the Social Fitness and Farmers Party. And don't know is speculated. Don't know how many voters for your the shooting faces and farmers had to vote card um to give the Labour Party um their seat. Um really interesting. Um I was the ABC broadcast of the Edmund by election. Um really interesting um First five or oh, yeah, first five minutes the audio of the ABC um ball cards um cut off uh cut out and not listen to the ball cards. Um don't know the joinings on the ball cards, um the panel but on the panel is Sue Ali and Christine Canini. 
and also election and announce and then we're going to to um look at the booths and look at the election results um um the Shira Lee and Christian Canelli, the talking points on the ABC broadcast. Um, Shira Lee broadcast. Uh, Shira Lee from the from the Labour Party. Her talking point is how the how it's extremely rare the the governor of the day got a swing towards them and to have the governor winning the seat. Um, and also, surely banging on about how the Labour Party have a deal with the Social Faces and Farmers Party. From Chris and Kennedy, the Chris and Kennedy mostly talking about how Mark Kelly has a higher popular vote, why got a small swing against the Labour Party in areas around the Manila region and the Queensland region and and yes, um, to met area of of the electorate of Eden Manila. Um, that is from Christine Kennedy. Got some empirical uh, arguments um, with. One argument that um, Shirley um, repeatedly said um, Labour had a deal with the Social Fisheries and Farmers Party and Christian Kennedy have a rebuttal um, saying the Liberal National Party in Queensland have a deal with the One Nation Party and hypocritical uh, from the the Labour Parties about having a deal with a racist party. Um, um, with uh, my thoughts of the by election, um, I during the by election itself, I often travel to Queensland and also my family live on the south coast of New South Wales and live in Pamela but um and and also I travel to Yaps partly for the by election and, and partly because I like trains and railways but beside the point really interesting with the spending on the political parties how much see it on Queensland? The Labour Party spent a lot on coal votes and, and all that, and the Labour Party not really spending a lot. Really interesting how the Australian Electoral Commission uh, cantilate with um, political parties spending and don't know the electoral law of the don't yeah don't know the electoral law but I think they got a limit um not caught me on that but don't know the Labour Party is definitely the biggest spender in the seat but don't know it's don't know breaking the spending rules or not. Have to find out. But that is my um, issue with the the spending. Um, with the a by election is is Peter Mars for on local issues and. The media is always overpaying the uh, the protection of the by election on federal issues. Got some 
federal issues like the job keeping job keeping alliance and all that but it's um is all local based and on the booths itself areas of the Labour Party doing well Chrissy McBean um the South Coast the big valley side council um got number of roofs got a string towards Labour because Chrissy McBain was the mayor of the Big Valley side council and for no commentant got a string towards her as well on one I think the new area of the electorate because her coming from the electorate got that factor as well. Spending and the local candidate factors. Um, that's um, it for the by election. Um, I think put up here having a um, a um, a a leak to the other videos um up there properly about the yeah about the bar legs and in Edmanel. Um this channel is properly more focused on the twenty twenty ACT election in October October and less so the Queensland election in 2020, but this by election um, had a last year had a blown out of of um, politics, looking at politics all the time. But I um, why I got not many videos of the by election in the city of Edmund now and. I thought this by election is not really interested to me. Um, more so the 2020 ACT election and the 2020 Queensland election. More interested with the more interested with the 2020 Queensland election. Um, the next video is probably talking about my mental health and with my struggling with I having autism but um, that is my future plans for this channel um, thank you for watching this video so I got some um, uh, words trying to think um, in my head and the words is not really coming at near age, near age group. <laughs> but um, thank you for watching my channel. See you the next time if I feel like to pause a video. See you.